This playthrough is rated E10+. Can Simi be saved and can we have our harem ending? Greetings and salutations viewers, while I'm right here with the bonus content for, or I guess the true finale, although I said true finale, but there was really nothing true about this. This is just me going to be showing the rest of the endings to the game and uh, and how to accrue uh, them. So for this one, we want to get the Simi ending, or Simes ending, sorry. The first time we played this, we destroyed her eye can or the eye shields in her ship first, and that killed her. And so there wasn't a hip hip hurrah or anything like that. It was just you did it. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, can you save Sime? Yeah. All you do is, uh, well, I'll show you when they pop up. So all you have to do is destroy her the cannons on her ship first. Yep. Sell this once and for all. Yeah, you won't fight me. Yet. I'll destroy. I'll destroy the eyes, which will, which are. Uh, uh, hit the cockpit, so. But if you destroy her guns, she won't have anything to to shoot you with. So obviously the game would be uh, the fight would be over. So, yeah, it's kind of a sad occurrence. I mean, they they make this to be some like sad uh, situation, fighting time and everything like that. But I don't know. Just uh, the fact that you don't get a uh, a well. Uh, I mean, he says sign before he fights her. But, I don't know, after he kills her, he should have been like, why? Why did I do that or something? But no, it's just kind of skipped over. So we just... Sime's really easy to fight because she doesn't do any unique maneuvers or anything like that. She just just shoots you straight and that's it. So And yeah, if you don't destroy the uh, eye uh, parts there, she... Uh, well, I'll show you as soon as we get past this part. I think when I first played this game, I shot the cannons first because I did... I basically did it just like you first fight her. So I was like, oh, we're just repeating that fight for some weird reason. So I took out the cannons first, and I was going to take out the eye lasers. But I destroyed the cannons and beat her. I was like, oh, okay. So I kind of got the safe sign ending the first time. Oh, and for those who are curious, if you want to get through... Um, uh, if you want to get through the dialogue quicker, you just press the uh, start button, and I'll skip through it. Um, I think it's the same dialogue, even though you technically save her. Yeah, he says that we destroyed her, yet we did something quite different this time, so. I'm trying to remember if there's actually any unique dialogue for, for doing this, so. I'll probably press start through most of this, because I don't think any, uh, I think it's all the same, yeah. I mean, I guess I could go over my dialogue. I thought they, because I kept quiet for the most part during these scenes. I thought this was pretty cool, the whole, um, the whole, um, speech from the, uh, tyrannical overlord and the, the unique, uh, uh, um, art stills of the uh, creatures bursting forth from the planet. Too bad the ending doesn't really talk about like what the ramifications are these flesh deities that pop out are, you know. But I think it's gonna be the same here, at least through the combat. I'll no, just press, keep pressing start. Yep, evil. Yeah, guy we never really knew much about ends up being evil, I turny. So, oh, and I guess I was stuck on the uh, uh, the uh, scanner that it shows through the cutscene. Uh, let's see. Nope. Like what? Yeah, we can use the virus. Now this part's gonna be the same because I haven't done anything different for this one. So, all right. I think the battle's gonna be exactly the same. So I can cut to uh, the end of it. So I'm just seeing if there's any extra dialogue here before we do that. Yeah, it looks like it's basically the same. Uh. Yep, so Bloodstream, so we have to kill the uh, Overlord the same way. So I'll see you when I've beaten the Overlord again, so. All right, we've beaten the Overlord, and Scarlet has sacrificed herself. However, things are different if you destroy, decide to destroy the cannons on Syme's ship instead of the eyeballs or glass things or whatever, the glass orbs. So, Syme, Syme, wake up. Uh, dot, dot, dot. What? Where am I? You're with me. Safe on Earth. I, I knew somehow you wouldn't do it. I had to disable your ship. I'm really sorry. But it was the only way to give you a soft landing. Why is uh, Wrecker's hair purple now? Is it because of the parasite? Anyway. If you stayed on Krill, you'd be gone now. I'm so sorry, Syme. I, I could only watch there, stand there and watch. He destroyed everything, Wrecker. You were right all along. But how did you defeat that, that thing? It was Scarlet. Her body contained a copy of the virus. She sacrificed herself to save us all from that creature. She carried the virus all along? 
No, I don't think so. She must have injected herself with it before Balloon stole the sample from the lab. It's the only explanation. Dot, dot, dot. I can't stand it. There must have been another way. Wrecker. Well, some people, they hold to higher authority. They realize there are more important things than just themselves. And when those people find themselves in dire circumstances, amazing things can happen. A seemingly insignificant life can save an entire world from chaos and ruin. It's wrong of you to dishonor her sacrifice. Accept what she did for you and hold her memory in high esteem. You're right. I just wish there, could, there was something I could have done differently. It's almost like the game's telling you something. Were you in love with her? Dot dot dot. It's okay, you don't have to answer. Dot dot dot. You know, the first time I met you, I didn't like you very much. Man, would they keep doing this whole triangle, love triangle situation? But clearly the game pits Wrecker and Syme together. It, it, it's it's like a, it's Scarlet and, and Wrecker never have a moment that really says, hey, maybe he had a thing for her. They never have a, I mean, yeah, she kissed him, but it was never, it was more like on the cheek and he didn't reciprocate. Although I guess maybe Wrecker didn't reciprocate when Syme kissed him and that, it's hard to say. But, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like they didn't do a very good job with the love triangle situation. It's like in, uh, was it Xenoblade Chronicles? Where they tried to set up a... They tried to do a whole love triangle between the three uh, three characters in that one. But clearly, there was never... The third character was never a thing. It was clearly against these two characters. And you're like, well, what was the point of that? They should have just made a standard romance with two of them and just and have a different story with the other girl. Whatever. Anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm harping on this too much. You know, the first... Uh, I didn't like you very much. Yeah? But once I got to know you, well, that's when I really wanted to strangle you. <laughs> like most women, am I right? No, I'm just kidding. Now, though, you find me irresistible? Hee <laughs> hee. This kind of reminds me of old Han Solo situation or something like that. Yeah. Come on, show me around this planet of yours, Earth man. No, she doesn't say that. I want to see everything. And thus, Scarlet was sacrificed, but Syme and Wrecker get together, and who knows what happens. Maybe they become commander of Earth, or uh, uh, whatever. It's hard to say. Make up your own ending for that, folks. So, but yeah, that's the end. Of, that's the Syme ending of the game. So I've shown you the everyone dies ending, which is where you don't save Syme, and you don't have to save Scarlet, and you beat the Overlord. This one's where you save Syme by destroying the cannons, but Scarlet still dies. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, well, how could Scarlet be saved? Is that possible? Well... I'll show you. So uh, I will meet you back in chapter six after we've been uh, after Scarlet saves us from the um, the Earth Federation. So I'll see y'all in a second. Oh, and by the way, you can press start to like uh, skip through the uh, credits if you want to like uh, blare through them. You're like, I don't want to see all the people that worked on this game. Ha, hooey, nah. I don't want to know all your hard work. Uh, I might uh, do another review of the game when we actually get the best ending of the game. Because there is a best ending, quote-unquote, uh, of the game. So, Alright, I'll see you at the uh, um, uh, Scarlet uh, story. Oh yeah, I think there's some slight... No, I think I showed you all the, the extras you get for completion of the game. Yeah, there's the poster for that. Yeah, you get the Sigma Fighter. And yeah, this is for getting 100%. You get some sign artwork. Uh, which is just a re-skin of the poster, but is her isolated, so. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you at the Chapter 6. All right, we're back in Chapter 6. So let's get saved by Scarlet here. Yep. Press the bomb. Yep, thank you, Scarlet, for grenading all these guys. I'm surprised I didn't get caught in the blast. That's a little insane when you think about it. Yeah, aren't we supposed to have black hair? But yeah, there's the kiss again. Uh, and then, but for some reason, we have purple hair. Maybe it's just because we've been attached to the. Because uh, I could swear at the beginning of the game we had black hair. I think we did, but then all of a sudden. But anyway, before we leave, we need to find the uh, the room where attorney was so if we just go back now you this is now this isn't possible on original game you have to have be a new game plus to get this because otherwise the room will be closed at this point so yeah remember the room here where attorney had the data well this door was actually originally closed or locked in the original story so all right so yeah what's this huh yeah there's more of the parasites and well, i guess they were doing experiments on them or something like that but yeah And that's it. So uh, to save Scarlet, all you have to do is get this virus sample. So that way she doesn't, 
because even though she still has the virus sample inside her body, now that you have the virus sample itself, you have another alternative way of um, defeating the uh, um, overlord this time, so you can not have to sacrifice her. So I think other than that, the I think the dialogue stays the same. Let me see if there's any. Yeah, it's all the same. So I'll see you at the when I beat the overlord. Oh, here we go. Uh, I was I was about to skip this part, and uh, uh, but uh, okay, now I can actually show you the battle worm. So yeah, the uh, ship that uh, uh, Sime was in uh, when we fought her. Yeah, you actually get to use it during the the possibly during the encounter. Uh, you still have the probes for some weird reason. Well, depending on what you've got, but pressing the attack button will shoot uh, missiles. If you press free, you'll shoot missiles. Uh, and if you have the A attack, you'll shoot uh, uh, your gun kids. It's kind of silly almost, but hey, why not? All right, anyway, I'll see you at the uh, the boss, or uh, after we beat the boss. Ah, we did it. It's now or never. It's loaded and ready. Yeah, all of a sudden the dialogue becomes this, even though there should have been a thing earlier where she says, oh, you found it. Let's do this instead. Now, to save on like redoing cutscenes or lines of dialogue, they just decided to have everything be the same until this scene specifically, and then it has them dropping a bomb instead of her sacrificing himself. Now, this ending is different because I still killed Simi. Or Sim I don't like to keep saying Simi. It's Sime, like rhyme, you know. But anyway, uh, I still kill her, but we save Scarlet. So this will give Scarlet's ending instead. So let's see this play out. Fire! Open wide, you son of a... And I, you could tell I was clearly lower level than I was before uh, doing this whole thing. So it took me a little bit longer to defeat the Overlord, but not much longer. So I think I was like 10 levels lower because I had the t the max shot so early in the game I didn't have to level grind as much. So, But first balloon, now Sime. There was nothing you could have done. I just can't believe that. How can I live knowing my actions cost them their lives? By the way, there's no way to save Bloon. As, as far as I'm aware of, there's no, like, you have to beat the game three times or whatever. He dies no matter what. He's like one of those unfortunate sacrifices of war, you know, that, like, there's nothing you can do for him, so. You know, the game makes you think he could have, but there's never, well, sort of. There's never a straight-up line saying, oh, if only I could have saved Bloon. It only happens with the girls, so. Sorry, dude. One day at a time, just like everyone else. Dot, dot, dot. Never forget them, but try to remember everyone you saved here on Earth, Wrecker. Against all odds, you won. You're a hero. Then why does it feel like I lost? You didn't lose me. Come on, I'll buy you dinner. Sime. I'll never forget you. See, that makes you think that they, they always they try to do this whole triangle thing, but yet when Scarlet's alive, he's never like, I, I miss her, but, you know, I like Scarlet too. No, clearly, clearly it's Sime. I, don't, I think that if they wanted to try to do that whole love triangle thing, I think they should have made the game a little bit longer and try to, I don't know, give more scenes for Scarlet. Scarlet kind of joins so late that they don't give her enough moments to where her and Wrecker kind of get to know each other better, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I said, I think it was just a failure of maybe they only had so much time or money or they had to wrap it up, so they probably wanted to do something like that, maybe. Uh, maybe I, I, I mean, I could be spitballing here. I haven't actually talked to the writers or anything like that. It's just that's what it seems like to me. But, okay. So that's what happened. That's the Scarlet ending. So, so weird how, like, if Syme's ending is a little bit more happier, yeah, she sacrificed herself, but you and Syme get together, so Syme, uh, uh, Wrecker's a bit more, you know, I don't want to say super happy, but, you know, more satisfied, it seems like, when Syme's alive. So, 
like I said, I think it was a, 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 a missed opportunity there because the whole the whole box art, the whole thing makes you think like, oh, it's two girls falling for Wrecker, you know, and he's like, oh, I don't know, but no, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's just, like I said, lost potential and all that fun jazz. So, yeah. Same thing with that. Yeah, yeah. Perfect completion. Picture of Syme. So, all right. So, now we're going to get the real ending. So, I have to beat the... So, get the virus data and don't kill Syme and beat the overlord. And you'll get a slightly different ending. So, I'll see you at the other ending. The the true ending. You know, the happy ending. Because you got to have one of these in a game that seems so depressing. Especially when no one survives. So... All right, beat the Overlord one more time. And I forgot to mention during the main playthrough that he kind of looked like Freddy Krueger. I never brought that up at the time. I guess it's one of those things you don't really think about. But anyway, also another thing I forgot to show off in the game was uh, during the final bit, uh, final level before you fight the Overlord, if you go through the blue spheres or whatever at the end of each section, it actually takes you to a different boss. Like, there's four different bosses you could fight. Uh, the ones I showed in the main playthrough are the easiest ones to do. The other ones require, like, specific shooting and it was a boss I actually never showed in the main game. I probably should have showed it off, but it's such an annoying boss, especially with the build I've got, uh, because the way you have to fight it. And I didn't think it was worth the time. Uh, and one of the bosses was the one where you had to wait till the rings in him line up so you can shoot through him to hit him, which is another really annoying boss to fight. So I just didn't want to show that. So sorry about that. But anyway, now that we've uh, saved Syme and saved Scarlet, they're both here with us at the ending. So let's see what happens. Syme. Syme, wake up. Uh huh. Dot dot dot. What? Where am I? You're with me. Safe on Earth. I knew somehow you wouldn't do it. I had to disable your ship. I'm really sorry. But it was the only way to give you a shot, soft landing. I'm so sorry, Sim. I could only stand there and watch. He destroyed everything, Wrecker. You were right all along. Yeah, I know. I'm right. I'm awesome. How did you? How did we escape from that thing? He smuggled out a copy of the virus. Wrecker flew into the creature and destroyed it from the inside, right where the Overlord was fused to it. He deserved worse. He sacrificed our planet for his pet monster. What would drive a man to such action? The Overlord I remembered from my youth would never have done such horrific things. Power is a dangerous and corrupting force. He wouldn't be the first to fall victim to it. I guess Turney could be the same, but we never... The problem is we never learn much about Turney outside of he's just a state, straight villain. And the Overlord, I guess he was a good guy at one point, but that could be... Uh, like I said, there's so much potential in this game. It just seemed kind of like... I wouldn't say half... half, half well, actually, I would say the game is almost half-baked. You know what I mean? In terms of, like, there's a god of good elements in there, but then there's some, there's some it just wasn't fully... It should have used a f few more months in the oven or something like that, you know? But now that your people are free of him, th them, him, he can, they can start over and rebuild. That's impossible. There's nothing left. We did it. Earth is as beautiful now as it ever was. All right, wait. Did we just skip over a line about how it's impossible because the Krill home world was basically destroyed? What? Our way of life and our world are still worth defending, worth dying for, even if the planet's a little broken in. Oh, I guess the idea was like, why don't you come live with us or some of that? The krill will, the krill will need real leaders after today. People like you. I don't know. Sai never showed herself off to really be a leader. I mean, her personality just didn't really scream that. But whatever. Well, maybe someday I'll go back and pick up the pieces. You're staying? Right now, uh, right now, I just want to get to know you, the real you. Oh. Yeah, there's not really, uh, like, <laughs> shouldn't Scarlet have come over and kissed him too? Like, maybe there was like a, oh, you know, maybe even after everything, there's still a rivalry. So, like, and then after the game, you could, like, just suppose who knows what happens between the three of them. No. They set it up, but then they never followed through. It's like they were cowards at the end. Like, do what Jade Empire did, you know. I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just joking. I'm just... The potential, man, was us there. So, yeah, that's it for uh, Sigma Star Saga. That's the best ending of the game. Scarlet survives. Uh, you know, Syme survives. She Maybe she becomes a leader. Maybe Syme and Wrecker end up together at the end. Who knows? I mean, that's not the biggest question. It's just one of those things. You know, does the Krill Overworld get, uh, Overworld get re re rebuilt? I'm surprised Way Forward never decided at some point to try and revisit this game and see if they could have... Uh, uh, made some like do a sequel to it and see like maybe take what they've learned over the years and redo the game But it's one of those that no one really talks about and I could kind of understand why way forward decide just to Not mess with the game uh, Again, not try to do a sequel or try to reimagine it or something like that 
Uh, they've got other projects and other games we're working on, so I don't think they're hard, hard for, for jobs or anything like that. It's just usually when you do an original IP, you know, you, you get more from it than uh, trying to take... Because they've been doing a lot of games where they take other IPs and, and do something with it, you know what I mean? So, oh well. Like I said, I like this game, but I still probably even replay it again just to get the all the endings. I would still give it probably a 5 or a 6 overall. Just like I said, it's a game that seems like it has a lot of cool elements to it and a lot of interesting story ideas, but because maybe because it was on the GBA or it was their second game, or maybe it was a side game while they were working on another project, so that maybe they had the B team working on this, it's hard to say. Um, that there was just so much stuff that could have been utilized like the overworld exploration could have used a bit more work you know the flying sections like maybe making some of the gun data a little bit more useful or maybe making weird combinations with the gun data or you know save that for the sequel obviously they never made one and obviously the game is is done like all the story bits are closed out there's nothing more to it um i mean maybe there could have been some story elements you could hear in the background and maybe like oh there could have been a sequel but i mean all the loose ends were pretty much covered up uh for the most part so there really was no need for a sequel. It's just they could have done a sequel if they wanted to really utilize the game. Like I said, they, they really... Like I said, a game that had a lot of potential but just, like, wasn't really fully utilized. But I still enjoyed myself. Like I said, the gameplay is still solid. At least the flying section. Like I said, the overworld exploration could have used a bit more work or maybe a bit more tools or different types of monsters. Or, like I said, the overworld itself, like, when you go through the planets, was pretty much, like, grab the puck and kill everything in one shot. So there was really no challenge there. And not that it was needed to be challenged, but, you know... Uh, I'm really trying to else what to say about this. Oh yeah, the pixel art was not bad. It, it, you could tell it was early. Uh, whoever did the pixel art was uh, it was one of their earliest works because it was a, it was weird and, and unfluid in certain parts, and obviously they had to cut out certain uh, defining features of characters. And also, I kind of wish they had had different portraits in the game uh, to indicate if a person was angry or sad. Because yeah, you could get that in the dialogue, but sometimes I wasn't sure if if Wrecker was supposed to be stoic or if he was supposed to be a comedian or he was angry all the time it, it i kind of never really even with the dialogue i could never set it see it you know sign with simon scarlet i could kind of get their uh, dial uh, get their uh feelings uh through the dialogue but wrecker was kind of a hard hard nut to like really figure out throughout the course of the game um uh, yeah and you get the picture of simon again i think if you've got the best ending i think you should have gotten something extra for saving all the ladies like maybe something with simon scarlet together okay oh there we go that's right I was about to say, I thought there was something extra when you beat that, so congratulations, you got the best ending. I don't know, it didn't feel like... No, sorry, I wanted to let the music play. I don't know, it didn't feel... I mean, it was the best ending, but it didn't feel that best when you think about it, so... Yeah, you get a little bonus thing with Scarlet there, but... or I, I'm sorry if there wasn't something with Wrecker where he's got him over his arms just hugging both of them or something like that. Uh, well, like I said, fun game. Well, could have used a bit more work, but it's worth checking out if you want to if not you saw my playthrough of it so i guess we'll leave it off there i'm trying to think if there's anything else that really needed to talk about about over the course of the game um i thought the music overall was pretty good um uh, not like groundbreaking but there's a lot of cool tracks in there that i really liked you know like i said i mean for other than wrecker a lot of the characters were pretty much utilized um uh, the only problem is I kind of wish uh, the commanders of the bases had more to do, like, outside of, like, some of them were just there. Like, they set up their personalities and then they kind of just disappeared after the course of the game. Like, you know, the typical, they could have come together and helped you to be, defeat the Overlord or something like that. Like, oh, there's Bloss and all them. Uh, you know, the typical ending of the game where all the NPCs come together to help you. The only one who came back was Zelly, And she's the one who killed all of her people. She did worse than Bloss. And uh, that one guy who basically threatened to turn Scarlet into a, a animal pet, you know, uh, like, Bloss actually wasn't that bad of a guy when you think about it, even though he tried to kill us with a monster, but still. But, yeah, like, I don't know, like I said, a lot of missed opportunity. I, I think it was just because the game, the ending of the game got rushed, because you could tell that there was some stuff they wanted to do at the ending in the final level. Like, I think they were supposed to throw in enemies from all the planets there, and all the bosses were... Uh, were possibly to re maybe like a boss rush was originally planned, but then they decided to cut that out, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, overall, like I said, still enjoyed the game, just wish it had been worked on a little bit further. So, oh well. So we'll leave it off there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next game.